Hi guys, welcome back to um, another episode of AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE and today we're on chapter 2.1 Factorizing It's a great day video and I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get started So first of all, there are three things to learn again <laughs> So um, you have to remember some of the identities uh, that are important you have to uh, factorize uh, long I expressions um, that I will explain later it's not that difficult actually and number three remember that you always need to factorize until there is one term left which is uh, also known as um, only brackets left so if there's any addition sign or um, subtraction sign outside the brackets, then it's a um, failed factorization. So for question one, uh, factorizing um, ax plus ay plus bx plus by, and that is um, a bit tricky to um, when you first look at it, but after a while you start to know what to do so the first thing I would do for that is to identify common factors from those four terms and in this case we can see that AX and AY have a common factor of A BX and plus BY have a common factor of B you can shuffle that around and say AX plus BX has a common factor of X AY plus BY has a common factor of uh, Y so that is not going to affect the final result I should put it like this so either you look at it um, in rows or columns um, they are in the same group, uh, same group. so um, now you've uh, identified common factors, what do you do? Uh, the second step of doing this would be to extract the common factors from the numbers and create brackets. Uh, factorization is all about making things multiply by another thing, so it's quite uh, simple to do. And as there is a common factor of A, we can take the A out um, like that a bit like Krebs claw but not really Krebs claw then you have an A here oh my god <laughs> terrible drawing then yeah for time saving reason there these are the two things that will come out so you bracket uh, the remaining items but you take out the common factor and put it in front of it this is uh, the first thing you need to know about factorization then um, what you need to do is to repeat until there's only one term left obviously so in this case uh, you can see that actually x plus y and x plus y is basically the same so they are in fact common factors so we can actually extract that uh, given that we have a sign in between it's an additional sign because it's uh, addition so what do you get is a plus b times x plus y demonstrated by this so this is uh, how to factorize um, a quite a long expression of just pure algebra. So now that we have done that, uh, we should be able to do um, factorize uh, shorter things, but it seems a bit different. Uh, difference uh, because there are powers to numbers now what you need to do is um, again put things into its uh, common factor uh, 
or identify the common factor by um, putting things into um, a multiple of its factor. Uh, sounds a bit complicated, I know I can't explain well, but yeah. So that is how I demonstrate that, because 3 times x times x times y equals 3x squared y, and 3 times 2, 6, x, y squared. So that's simple enough, but what now? Um, take out the pen, um, if you link uh, two of the same thing together like this, you'll get 3, 1x, and 1y. And these are the uh, common factors that we can like um, trim out. So cross out is always useful. There. So now we have a common factor of 3xy and we have what is left x minus 2y in a bracket. And that is factorization of the two term number with power. So this chapter is about factorizing. Why do I put a plus b times a minus b and it's simplified uh, simplification expand? Well, uh, anyone who um, actually do this will get the answer a squared minus b squared and that is simple and because you know you can do Krebs claw or foil whatever you want to get this but what's the point on this uh, talking about um, factorizing in well talking about simplification in factorization that is called an identity and it's always true demonstrated by um, by 3 equals uh, parallel, well not parallel, but you know, um, equal sign, that is, this is the identity sign, it's always true, so whatever number you put in for A or B, it will work like this, so um, whenever you get to um, factorize this number then you know definitely it must be equal to this it's very important to remember and it's just simple and nothing else to explain really it's just a fact that you have to learn so yeah that's for that um, identity. So now we've done a uh, four terms uh, factorization, but what about this one? This looks a bit um, difficult, doesn't it? Because I don't see a common factor for three of them together, and I can't group two things in one group without um, sharing one term. So, um, first of all, learn the name of this equation. It's called a quadratic equation, and it's um, different from linear because there are powers to it. And um, how should we factorize it? Well, first step. Um, okay. Um, sorry for that. Um, first step, you have to look at the last number and find all the possible uh, factor combinations. So the last number is definitely 3, but what makes 3? This is a prime number, so simply only 1 and 3 makes it. So this is kind of an easy question, I guess. 
but if you encounter a plus 4 in the future, or a plus 100, let's say, so you will have to find every single combination. Uh, for 4 it would be, uh, I think, 1, 2, and 4. Yeah, 1, 2, and 4 is the factors for number 4. But we don't need to know that now. We just need to know 1 and 3 makes 3. So after this, what do I do? And now we have to look at the second term and check if the combination adds up or subtract to or um, yeah to that number. So second term is number four, right? And one plus three is indeed four by this equation. So that means we can do something to that middle term, but what? Well, it's simple. Just separate it into the factors, uh, in the ratio of the factors, or whatever you want to call it. Then it would become x squared plus x plus 3x plus 3, which is plus 4x given that these two are combined and we didn't change the question, we just changed the format of it then finally solve this as example 1 uh, did so first extract a common factor from one thing then combine them both so yeah, that is the explanation of factorizing. So for my tips for this chapter, uh, one, uh, two point one, um, just try not to extract negative numbers unless both terms are negative, like this, or the two factors that are created doesn't match uh, to the other bracket because not. Normally, if there's a four-term question, then it would be a two-bracket answer, uh, or even a three-term one, like we demonstrated just now, um, have two brackets. So, um, if you found that, uh, then if you find the two-bracket first made wasn't the same, then try to use negative. So it's time for um, questions section and these are four questions that I expect you to be correct for and this is five star question. What is a star question? It's a, um, a let's say a lateral thinking question. It's straightforward but um, requires you to think a bit. So yeah and I should see you in five four three two one so these are the answers for the five questions that I've set and hope you've got them all right and yeah this wraps up uh, factorizing and this is a useful skill and think um, it's really useful later on when you do solving quadratic equations so do practice this a lot and yeah I'm Jerry um, if you like this video please do like it Give me a comment if I did anything wrong. Um, subscribe for more um, GCSE related videos. And yeah, share it with your friends if you learn something because they might need it. So yeah, I'll see you next time.